Hey, it's show and tell. Today I want to show you sulfur as it occurs in its elemental state. Sometimes you'll find it uh, mixed together with uh, other minerals. You know, you just mentioned sulfur and people think of smell. Actually, pure sulfur has no smell, but it can react slowly with moisture in the air and release some hydrogen sulfide. That is the odor of rotten eggs and also of human flatus. Compounds of sulfur can be smelly, such as the ones found in garlic and in the chemical weaponry of skunks. Sulfur is one of the relatively few elements that occur in nature as a pure element, not combined with others in compounds. But there are also many compounds of sulfur, such as calcium sulfate, known as gypsum, sodium lauryl sulfate, the active ingredient in detergents, and the amino acids cysteine and methionine that are essential components of our diet. In its elemental form, sulfur consists of eight sulfur atoms joined in a ring. Elemental sulfur can be found around volcanoes and hot springs and was already known to the ancient Greeks who recognized the ability of powdered sulfur to kill fungi on crops. It is still widely used today as an organic pesticide because sulfur occurs naturally. The book of Exodus describes God raining fire and brimstone on the evil citizens of Sodom and Gomorrah. Brimstone meaning stone that burns. Indeed it does. Around 1000 AD, the Chinese discovered that when sulfur is mixed with charcoal and saltpeter, it burns with great vigor and produces gases that can propel a projectile. Gunpowder was born. Sulfur burns the blue flame and produces sulfur dioxide, compound with a choking odor that is also formed when compounds of sulfur burn as in a match. We don't strike matches often, but we do burn a lot of petroleum and coal, both of which contain sulfur compounds. If these are not removed before combustion, they release sulfur dioxide, which then combines with oxygen in the air to form sulfur trioxide that reacts with moisture to form sulfuric acid. And presto, we have acid rain and all its environmental consequences. Acid rain damages forests, aquatic life, and causes the weathering of statues and structures. Sulfuric acid in the air is undesirable, but when produced industrially, it is the world's largest volume industrial chemical, essential for reaction with phosphate-containing rock to yield phosphoric acid that is needed for the production of phosphate fertilizer. Without that, the world cannot be fed. While originally the sulfur for sulfuric acid production came from gathering sulfur around volcanoes, today it is mostly sourced from petroleum and natural gas refining. Alberta's oil sands are rich in sulfur that is removed and ends up being shipped out to sulfuric acid producers. That's why you can see huge mounds of sulfur in the port of Vancouver. And that for today is our show and tell.